Worldwide, eczema rates have been rising. Uh, in the developed world, they might be more or less starting to plateau, but they're affecting up to 20% of children these days. Most people do grow out of it, but not everybody. And as an adult, one can be affected by significant eczema too. The reason why the eczema rates have been going up like this are a bit unclear. There are a number of things we've looked into to identify why. For example, perhaps these days we're living more cleanly and therefore exposed to bacteria or other environmental um, insults less than we were in the olden days, for instance. But it's still not 100% clear. Uh, there are certainly some gene mutations which won't be changing necessarily with time, but they are causing more eczema in some people. In terms of managing eczema, there's no straightforward cure for eczema, as it were, but as I mentioned, people can grow out of it. The general philosophy on treating eczema is to moisturise really well, and this can be a struggle with many patients, many of whom have tried moisturising and found it unhelpful. But still, we really do encourage them to moisturise as well as possible, because whatever else we add into their moisturising and treatment regime, the moisturising is like a cornerstone of treating eczema. Another thing we work hard on is encouraging our patients to use their topical steroids a lot. Topical steroids are a medicated type of cream, and a lot of patients are worried about using these because they can thin the skin. The current philosophy on treating this, uh, treating with topical steroids at the moment is to use them more aggressively in the first instance to try and achieve clearance of the skin, and then at the first sign of eczema coming back to treat it with topical steroids once again, rather than waiting for the eczema to get really bad before treating it. The idea being that keeping the skin clear for longer probably switches off part of the eczema process and keeps it, your skin clearer for longer and longer and longer, so you use less topical steroid in the long run.